Greetings from a wet GMC Stadium in Bamberlin as we get set for tonight's crucial Hero Indian Super League battle between the Kerala Blasters in the midst of their worst ever ISL start and Odisha who have just one victory in their last 13 attempts. Kerala has just six points, their worst ever ISL tally after eight games. So there's balance in this one, but Onwu allows Daniel the chance to impress the coach, Stuart Baxter. It certainly is a very late change for Baxter. We only heard about it a few minutes before kickoff. Daniel coming in for Onwu. So Daniel, who is a player with a lot of experience, will make his 40th appearance in the Hero Indian Super League. The Yellow Army come out here at Bamberlin. They did play well despite losing last time out, and they'd shown a bit of a revival coming into the new year. Kerala in yellow will take us away here. The Yellow Army are looking to secure just a second win in the ninth attempt. It's a long kick. It's a good one, and he's got the header, and the keeper saves. Now Murray scores at an acute angle. The keeper did not do enough, and Jordan Murray, he's loving Indian football, isn't he? He's been getting goals at will in recent weeks, and Murray has his third of the campaign in his ninth appearance. He's actually nicknamed the Bulleye Blaster. That's where he's from in New South Wales. It's a lovely place. The Bulleye Blaster does it. He's actually saluting me. I can't believe it. <laughs> You've got an assist, Andy, I think. I've got to say, I mean, it's a fantastic finish from, from Murray's point of view, but it's a poor goal from Adisha's point of view. Sahal and Raul KP and Murray in the box. It goes for distance. The keeper can only block it. It was hit with real venom, and then Facundo Pereira wins a throw-in. What a strike that was by beautiful, well and truly struck by Facundo Pereira. Murray was a perfect decoy going back post, and Sao, to his credit, makes the right run, but he's not a known goal scorer. This man is Diego Maurizio, and he scores on the deflection. It doesn't matter how they go in, as long as they go in. It's taken a wicked touch and beaten Albino Gomes at the near post. Seconds ago, Kerala could have made it 2-0. It's 1-1. A disher in the contest. Well, I think that's what you call a commentator's nightmare. I've just sung the praises of this lad, and he didn't clear his lanes. He didn't clear it out the way. And he's allowed Maurizio to the byline. And to be fair, it's a cross-come shot. I don't think he's... I think he's trying to play a pass in there, and it's took a wicked deflection off the other centre-half, and it's gone in the back of the net. I don't think you can credit Maurizio with that. It's a own, own goal for me. Kerala go deep. Vicente Gomez, he's free, he's unmarked, he'll get the corner. Wonderful ball in, left footed ball in, I think it was Pereira. He's got speed to burn this man, he's got a sight of goal. Well, okay, B deflection, blocked by the keeper, luckily, Vinadry was there. Uh, Steve Singh in goal for Adisha has had to block at least three or four. You let him come in, inside onto his left hand That's side. That's a good save. That is a good save, actually. Diego Maurizio, the Brazilian. Now the Indian. Sub. Now Maurizio! Top save. That's the save of the game at the near post. Maurizio pounced quickly. He hit it with some serious venom. But Alvino Gomes was right there. You say it's a save of the game, both keepers again well involved, but that is a good save. He's got a strong hand to it. Maurizio again goes for the near post, he goes for the narrow angle, the tight one. Two goals, a couple of assists last season. There it is, and it's finished. Of all players, Stephen Taylor, the captain, has popped up. He's played every minute of football. He has scored his first ever goal in the Hero Indian Super League. Or second, actually, he scored against Bengaluru, in fact. Not ahead of this time, but they're up 2-1. Scored a set-piece last time, and rightly so, he's come round the back, and I think it's Jeeks and he's run off. I can see the, the reaction there, he's not happy. And he hasn't caught it absolutely sweet, but he's hit the target. He catches it on the half volley, pushes his foot through it, and to be fair, it's a soft goal from... Kerala's point of view, a really soft goal. If ever he's going to score a goal, it's going to be from a set piece, and there it was. Tratt. That's dangerous, and the keeper does enough. That's just wide as well. Adisha, 
their confidence has lifted to another level here and they could quite rightly have had a third we welcome you back to the gmc stadium in bamberlin goa for the second half of match number 50 where we've had three goals totally different goals goals nonetheless there could have been more but for some brilliant keeping and for some poor finishing at stages. Yeah, you can say poor finish, but I would have said that I would agree with the first part of that comment. You know, brilliant goalkeeping from both goalkeepers. But I'll agree 100% with what Pratt said at half time. There's more goals in this game for sure. But he does have classes. Maurizio, it needs a class ball. It is. Diego Maurizio keeps his balance and buries it. Like a thunderbolt. Maurizio gets two. Odisha have three. Wow! There was certainly nothing wrong with his knee there, was there? It was a lovely ball through. It was a fantastic counter-attack in play. But it looked to me as if Cody laid a... Cody laid a glove on, he's still celebrating, he's absolutely enjoying the moment. But it's a ball forward by Tratt, and to be fair, that's good play. That is wonderful play. And he's composed himself and buried it with an aplomb of a striker in form. What a great finish that is. A deluge of goals. Deluge of goals, aye. The thunder and lightning hasn't finished yet, though. Thunder. There is a classic song from an Australian band. Diego Maurizio in search of a hat-trick. Here he comes. He's lining up. He's calling it. He's scoring it. That is a goal last But the three quarters. Oh, my. I've heard a Galasso, I know I've heard a Galasso and a half, but not a Galasso in three quarters, Andy. Where are you going with that? What a fantastic... If he's been granted that first goal, well, I'm not sure if he has. If he's been granted that, that's the first hat-trick of this year's Hero ISL. What a fantastic goal. Ball played down the line. The one thing you've got to do is keep him on his left foot, and he lets him come back on his right there. He goes past one, he goes past two. And the keeper's got no chance in the bottom corner. What a finish that is. Wonderful goal. It was Vincenti Gomez, I think. It was it was light. Credit to the referee. And now Facunda Pereira has room to shoot. That is the save of the night. If you're a young goalkeeper, watch the replay. It's hit with venom. Look his, at his feet, his positioning, his movement. Top stuff. Hyderabad 2-1, they got the double, they beat North East 2-1. Will this be their most significant performance? How does that not go in? That is another exquisite performance between the sticks, this time at the other end. Well, if the warning signs weren't there in the first half, they played exactly the same corner. Roll back, what a header, and again, I think he's got a touch. He's got a touch. What a save. It's breathtaking. Just one option in the box, that's a surprising. Although Diego Maurizio's there now, he's got Vicente Gomez! No one inside just to finish off. No one would have expected that. It whistled across. What a dangerous player he is. Steve did a great save just after that fourth goal when they needed to pull it back and Murray whips it in nicely. Hooper! The flex goes in, it is game on! The two foreigners combined, 79 minutes in. Is it going to be a repeat of what we saw last time they met? I'd like to see it again, but it looks to me as if it's a foul on the centre-half. Ball goes in the channel there. He's got to be stronger. Got a ball has got to be stronger there. And Huba's got away with it, but all his strength there, he's knocked him off the ball. I've just said, I can't see a way back in for them. And he gets the deflection, goes in the bottom corner. Huba's off and running as well. Taylor's looking for a second, it's going towards Taylor. Now that's more like it, that is more like it. Now Kerala are trying to get the third, Hooper overlaps, it's a good ball for Hooper, the keeper does enough to save, and it comes back into his arms, a foul is the judgment here, but that was the time they had to get the third and they should have put it away. That was the moment. It's a dangerous corner, oh, it's hit the woodwork and now it's blocked on the line by Taylor and that's just wide.
It's not their night. It is not the Kerala Blasters' night. I agree to a certain extent, but when you concede four goals, you can't be expecting to win games. And Odisha have got a double against Chennai in coming up on the 10th and the 13th of January at this ground. Odisha finally can celebrate a special moment for them in Season 7 of the Hero Indian Super League. Well, it just showed you a little flash to both coaches. There's a lot of thinking to be done for Kibu Vakuna, but let's spare a thought for that man, Stuart Baxter, tonight. What a fantastic night it has been for him, for him and his team. 4-2, Odisha prevail.